Hello, my little loves. How are you? And the dogs are just with their again. Are you peeing? You better not be peeing. Okay. Anywho. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you, baby. Today, I just wanted to share with you kind of an updated new affordable makeup I found that I've been loving. Why? Remy. Remy, come here. Remy's not my dog. He's my mom's dog. He's a real sweet boy, but he is definitely a troublemaker. Are you a troublemaker? Yeah. See, I look cute and innocent, but see, I start all of this shenanigans. Yep. You see, I start it all. You're cute. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. And the first thing I have talked about, but I need to just sing its praises a little more, and that is the NYX Plump Right Back Plumping Serum and Primer. This, I feel like, is very much a, almost like a skincare item. I use this as kind of like a gel moisturizer. It does plump the skin. It does make your skin feel kind of juicy and just ready for a beautiful makeup application. I have been loving this, and I would say even if you're oily, because I am combo, I was worried that this would cause my makeup to be too greasy. It's nothing like that. It's got a very, very odd texture. Um, it's a definitely a gel, but it's like it's got more substance than just a regular gel. It's more cushiony. Yeah, so I love this. It is sticky, so you do get a tacky base, and I've just been loving this, and I think it's good for so many skin types. And I'm gonna kind of go in order of application and each little category. So the first thing I do after skincare is my brows. And I have found two brow products I am loving. This is from Arches and Halos. And I picked this up at Target. So I have the Micro Divining Brow Pencil. And I have the shade Espresso. And I like this because it is a very neutrally, a very neutrally brown. See if you can see that. Really love that you can get a fine line. It is not too creamy. I hate when pens are too creamy. They just kind of melt. Don't have to worry about that with this. And the next thing I have is a water resistant firm hold brow gel. Now this is very firm hold. And what I love about this though is this brush. And I have bent it a little bit because if you've seen my videos, you know I like a kind of a soap brow look, and I like to kind of glue them down. And I have actually been able to use this to slick them down, and I really, really like it. But I do think if you had more brow than me, these are painted on, um, that it would work for you also. But look how tiny, tiny that brow, it, brow brush is. And I got the clear, but I'll show you. This is so gross, I'm so sorry. But this is the average spoolie size um and that's this little number so i've really been loving these two products if you've seen them and thought well i've never heard of this brand give them a try they're really really good next up is something from profusion which i haven't talked a lot about but i was at wally world walmart and i picked up their pigment base which is their eye primer let me show it to you. It is basically just a kind of concealer, concealer-like base. It is very thin, which I like, but it does give quite the coverage. It dries down just the right amount to where it's not greasy, it's not going to move around, your shadow is not going to crease, but it still remains tacky enough that it lets your shadows have like full pigment and I've really been enjoying this. It uh, really helps the shadows last longer and it's like five bucks. It's so good. If you're a fan of the P. Louise base, I would give this a try. So moving on to shadows, I'm gonna talk about uh, a drugstore option and then an option that I may talk about in a future Amazon video, but Morgan Turner did, I think it was probably a sponsored video on this brand. And it was this Bethlehem palette. I have used their 
uh, lash glue and I really like it. But this is the Spice Pressed Powder Palette. And she said it was really good. It was like under, I think it was 10 bucks. And I was like, I'll give it a go. I am shocked. At, first of all, how nice this palette. It is very heavy. It doesn't have a mirror, but this lays super flat. Here is the color story. It's just kind of a rainbow palette. You have your kind of reds, oranges, yellows, green, blues, and purple. But what was interesting about this palette is that these are magnet, which would explain why it's so heavy. So that was really cool. But then I used it and the shadows are so, so good. I am wearing uh, the shimmers that I have on are from this palette. I love them. But the mattes are great too. I have actually the matte yellow on. The only thing I don't really use in the palette, this color here is actually a primer. And it looks orange, but it's kind of clear, like skin. Yeah, it's just kind of a clear primer. I don't use that. And then there is one pink glitter in here. It's just got some cute little stars in it, but I, I really don't use that. So there's a couple mattes. They're really, really pigmented, really beautiful. Let me throw a couple shimmers on. I'll show you the ones that I have on. So I have this green on and I have this yellow. Aren't they beautiful? There's a pink, purple, blue, which I also have on. But these are just gorgeous. And I was shocked when I received it. The quality is amazing. The price is awesome. So she was right. I see why she partnered with them. It's a great palette, great price, great quality. If anybody picks this up, let me know. When you feel it, you're like, how is this $10? So maybe I don't want to know what's in it. But the next thing, I saw that Hard Candy, again, in the Wally world, I saw Hard Candy had some little quads. And these reminded me, they're going to remind everybody of the Elf Bites Eye Shadows. So I had to give these a try. I did a look with the pink. I will put it in here. I had absolutely no trouble whatsoever with these. These don't swatch the best, but they definitely performed really well on the eye. So there's the little pink palette. This one is called, these are the Moods Monochrome Shadows. This is the shade, this is the color story called Wink. And then if you've been here a while, of course, you know I had to get the green. This color story is called Envy. Let's watch these for you. And this is the one I have on as well. It's crazy. These do not swatch that great, but they perform so well on the eyes. So there's Envy. And these are just such great little monochromatic palettes. They work really well. They were really easy to use. Shimmers are good. And yeah, I highly recommend these. If you just want something simple, these are amazing. And they're for something. Like, so good. So let's move on to the base. I have not heard, I have not heard anyone hardly at all talk about this foundation. I think I saw Emily Noel use it one time, but this is another product from Profusion and it is their Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Perfector. Hyaluronic acid, medium to full co coverage, natural satin finish, SPF 15. And I got the shade Light 1, which is actually darker than Light 3, I believe, and I, which I think is my color. This one's a little dark for me, so I do have to lighten it up. But what I actually mix this with is my Catrice True Skin, which is too light. So these together make a perfect combo. But I really like this foundation. Again, it's $5. I think it's 5 I think it's 5 It's not over $8. But this is so, so good. It's very thin. It's a very lightweight coverage and it does what it says it is going to do. It's just a long wearing, just kind of perfects the skin. I would say it's medium, but you can build it up to pretty full coverage. Light full, I would say. But if you have not tried this, I say give it a go. If it doesn't work out for you, you're only out like five bucks. So give this a try because I 
feel like this is definitely a hidden gem. Next up are two products that I had picked up in my last Shop Miss A video and I've been loving these, using these all the time. The one that surprised me most is their concealer. It's actually really, really good. Now this is the Paw Paw version of their concealer. I have the shade Porcelain and for not having a lot of shades that I feel like they do have a good spectrum of shades. Porcelain is pretty neutral, but it just blends out. It's so creamy. It's like a medium to full. You can build it up without it looking cakey. It doesn't crack or crease under my eyes. It sets down pretty quickly. I just really like this concealer and it surprised me. It's $1.88. So give this one a try next time you're ordering from Shop Miss A. The other thing, and this one was a dollar, I did not expect to love this as much as I do. This is the bron AOA bronzer, AOA Studio Perfect Bronzer Powder. And this is the shade Frappe. There's something about the texture of this powder. It's so smooth. It's not quite totally matte. It's a perfect bronzer shade. It's not too red. It's not too pink. It's not too orange. It's just perfect. I am wearing it today, although I have a lot of blush on, so you might not be able to tell as much, but it's a dollar. And this is better than I'd say half the bronzers I have in my collection. So definitely pick this up if you had the chance. I forgot to talk about this when we were talking about eyes. I know most of y'all have used the LA Girl Shockwave liners. They're awesome, great. But their sister brand, LA Colors, makes pencils too. And actually in this shade, this is Manic. It's this beautiful green. I have it on today. Just checking. I've had it on like six hours. It's still in my waterline. <laughs> um, wow. I'm gonna put the price here. Crazy good, crazy pigmented. And actually this shade I like better than the Shockwave shade that's supposed to be just like it. So this is the LA Colors. This is the LA Girl. This one's the shade Gotcha. I like the LA Colors better. It's more pigmented. It shows up better on the waterline. It's just a better pencil. I think I'm gonna have to throw away my LA Girl because this has taken its spot. So look for LA Colors liners and I know they sell them at the dollar store. Sometimes you can get them at Dollar Tree. I found this one at Walmart. Uh, yeah, highly recommend. Next is a highlighter I've talked about before. I still don't hear people talking about it and it is the Believe Beauty uh, Luminizing Glow Trio on Cloud 9. It's this highlight palette right here. It is so, so beautiful. It feels so much more high-end than it is. I love this whitish, greenish color on the end. I'll add a little more. It's so glowy and it's just very smooth, doesn't enhance texture or your lines. It's so pretty and I don't think this gets enough love. Maybe because it's only sold at um, Family Dollar or a Pop Shelf. But if you ever see this, pick it up. It's so, so good. Let's talk about a blush. Two blushes actually from the same brand. My Walmart carries Lottie London. Let me wipe my hand off so I can show you. I did, you know, with like a liquid blushes, you never know what's going to go down. So I didn't know how I was going to like this, but this is the Lottie London Sweet Blush Liquid Blush. I have the shade. I don't know. What shade are you? Okay. I don't know what shade this is, but it's very, very pink. <laughs> and I got it because it just seemed like such a beautiful, happy, summery shade. I just want to show you how pigmented this blush is. A little tiny bit goes such a long way. I'm wearing it today. I don't feel like it fades. It doesn't pick up the makeup underneath it and it is extremely pigmented. So if you see these, I say grab them. They're great. And along those same lines, the Lottie London blushes. And I have the shade Haze here, and I did put this on over the cream, but these are their ombre blushes. I have another shade in this, but they're just such a pretty finish. It's like a, it's a satin finish. It's not super shimmery, but it's definitely not matte. And they are just, they're so pretty. 
So, so far I've had wonderful luck with the Lottie London blushes and they're at such a great price too. And I really feel like this liquid blush performs like a much higher end blush. Next, I'm gonna show you two lip products. These are from past hauls, but I have paired them together and this is like my new favorite lip combo, nude lip. Now alone, this lip liner is good. It's the nudist. Yeah, this is the Sephora collection rouge gel lip liner. And this is shade one, the nudist. These do not sharpen y'all. Don't make that mistake like I did. They twist up from the bottom. So this is a perfect cool based nude liner. And when I picked this NYX, uh, this is one of the new NYX, this is milky glosses. And when I had, saw this color, I was like, oh, this is pretty, but then I put it on and it it just looked weird, like too milky, if that makes sense. So let me put these on together and I'll show you. Okay, don't clock my dry lips. I'm still struggling on that bus. But isn't this so pretty? It's just such a beautiful nude combo. And I've been loving that. And again, this was the Sephora Collection gel, uh, Rouge Gel Liner in number one, the nudist. And this is the NYX This Is Milky Gloss in the shade. I think it's Cookies and Milk. Cookies and Milk. And it smells. It smells like cookies. It smells so good. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. It's the Wet n Wild Bare Focus clarifying finishing powder. This is a very elegant, thin powder. It looks fabulous for me under the eyes, maybe because it's so thin. I almost want to compare it to the new Charlotte Tilbury powder, so I'm gonna pick that up to see if this might be a dupe because it feels I don't know, this feels way more high-end in the pan, like the actual product. I hate the packaging, and I am a patch packaging snob. I do love a good packaging, but this feels like, like it should be in very bougie packaging. So I love the actual product. If you struggle with acne, this has tea tree, vegan collagen, and vitamin E. So grab this Bare Focus Clarifying Powder if you're looking for a thin, lightweight setting powder, finishing powder that will break you out and that feels way more high-end than it is. All right, y'all, those are some affordable things I've been loving. Uh, get into some of these, especially this eye base is so good. No, I love all these, but I just thought I'd share these little gems with you and hope that if you see them, you'll pick them up and that you'll enjoy them. That is going to be all today. Make sure you follow me on my other socials. I am on TikTok. I am on Instagram. It is Bethany Schmidt Aesthetics. If you don't know how to spell it, look at my channel name. My YouTube shorts have been popping and my longer videos, not so much. I get that short form um, is kind of where it's at. Heather just made a video, a uh, crazy beautiful MUA. Uh, talking about this. It's so true. Short form is getting all the attention, but I like long form. And I think it's because I like building relationships with people. I like talking to people. You know, sometimes just a few seconds or three minutes doesn't do it for me. So I hope you will subscribe and I hope you will join our family because we are an awesome family here. So I thought about doing a subscriber shout out of the week because I love y'all, I really do. And I think that might be a way to show you how much I appreciate you. So my first subscriber shout out is gonna be to Allie. I love Allie. She, she and her puppers, Bella. Allie just always has something so supportive and kind to say to everybody, but especially to me. And Allie, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and how much I appreciate all of you so I will pick a new subscriber next week. Um, I'm gonna try to get another video up before next weekend. There's some things I want to review. There's some other video ideas I have. If there's anything you would like to see please let me know in the comments below and I will try to do that for you. I am here for you. All right as always take care of yourself and each other. I love you all so 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 much. Mwah. I will see you next time. Bye! And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you.
Baby, up with a slow motion crew. 